Okay, guys, I am back. This is video number two. This was another, um, is this Enchanted? Yes, it is. The other one is Bewitch. So Jackie bought Bewitch, and I think, not that I think, I know that I got Enchanted. So we figured we can um, stamp for each other if we want it to. This one, I just love this guy. It's so cute. And that. I also have the coffee paper that I picked up, and I shared that. Here's some stamps that, okay, let me put this over here, that I have in my stash that I've been pulling out so I can make some Halloween cards. I'm trying to see what did I do with Bewitch, because I know I stamped them out. Anyway, so let me just throw this in here. So let me share, guys, what I purchased. Oh, I got um, from Tim Holtz, guys. I got the pencils. Uh, anything raving about Tim Holtz? I'm in it like fly on shit. Yep, yeah, you heard it from me. I love Timmy. So he got new pencils out. Now, here's how I look at it. When I'm going to use... Um, when I'm going to... When I use my stencils... I do get whatever colors I'm going to use and I kind of stamp on my glass mat and then I'll pick up the color from there with a water coloring pen and with the pencil it's the same thing as if you were using your distress oxide so on the sets I got it from Ranger Inc they did have a 50 15% off, so I picked it up with a 15% off. So they have sets one, two, and three. So on the back, you have the colors, and here you see it says set one. And this here, again, this one's set two, and there is all the colors. I tried them all, I had to. So what I, I also seen a video, I don't know if it was one of the girls that sent it over to me, seen a video how if when they have to shave the pencils they save the, sh the shavings and add it to one of the little painting trays and keep it there so whenever they were going to use it they'll actually melt it down with water and let it sit and dry so another way to you know preserve anything to me so this one's uh set number three and they're beautiful colors now here's Usually, if I'm going somewhere, and I still take them with me, I don't know why, I carry with my little ones. Because I just never know if I'm going to color with the Distress inks or if I'm going to use whatever marker I have at hand. But mostly, I love carrying around with this. But, look at this. See that? This does the same thing as this. So, i rather have this. You could do the same thing, color, um, write down, you know, bring your pencil on your glass mat and then pick up your colors from there with water. So just in case, you know, again, they're pretty pricey. They were like $22.99, but I got 15% off on, uh, on my entire order from Ranger Inc. Ranger Inc. There you go. So here's the guy I was looking for so that I could share. I had stamped them. And this is again from Scrappy Boy. How cute. And I did these two and I colored them. Look at how pretty. So I'm gonna see um, how I'm gonna use this. I don't know yet. And this is, I usually take and I'll sit down. If I have white pieces of paper laying around, I'll cut them down to, I do five and, no, what is it? Four and a quarter by four and a quarter by five. Yeah, because I get four. I get four panels out of an eight by eleven. I think. I don't even know. Or is it eight by eleven or eight? By, what's the card size? I don't know. But I use the eight by something paper. So yeah, eight by eleven. So I get four panels so I cut it the length is five and a half by 
and the width is four and one fourth. So those are the panels I usually bag and I keep in here. So like right now, I normally have three of these filled with panels and this is what I'm down to. So sometime this week I'll probably sit down here and cut papers down or whatever, just to have them ready, you know? So all I do is just grab from here and stamp. That's the story of my life and I'm sticking to it. All right, so let me share, um, ay, 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 what's the name of that? Uh, tonics, they were having a sale. And from Ranger Inc, I also picked up this so that I can get free shipping. Otherwise I would have paid $5 free shipping. This was $5, so I got something for something, right? I gave you $5, you gave me back a stamp and a die. <laughs> So thank you so much. So now back to tonic. I'm going to share what I picked up. And actually, once I clear my desk out, cause I'm still putting the, away the stuff I took with me. This, I need yellow cardstock. I don't want to go to Michael's. And I do like the 80 plus on the well this is 80 pounds oh, good but this is amber yellow there's certain colors i need like i need red black and yellow and i believe green so i gotta go through all my papers and see because if not i'm gonna probably have to do one of those trips to michael's even though i've been good like i haven't been interested in purchasing anything in michael's it better be on super clearance otherwise no anyway so i got that from tonic studios usa because they have two they, so the shipping eight dollars for shipping and i believe there was a coupon but i kind of did not use it so this is what i got how cute is this so i'm actually um it's a dent, dainty dragonfly tear box die set. This was 20 bucks, guys. How pretty is that? Now, had Tuesday morning had them back in the days. I would have probably paid $5. I think that's where I got my other one, Tuesday morning. But look how cute. So that's what it looks like. I am going to play with this. This is what, like, oh my God, look at all those dies. But... It's doable. So that's what I'm playing with. I'm going to leave it here so that I actually remember that. It's new and I want to use it. Or it's new and I need to use it. And let me share what else I picked up. And I've been finding like duplicate stuff all over the place. Here. Here's another stamp that I actually pulled out and this is what I do. I label them their duplicate so that I know that I have it. So I'm gonna be selling this one also. The same price I pay for it, so. How cute is that? But I have it already, I don't need two. That's the second stamp that I found this week since I started last week. I, okay, so. And I'm gathering all my Tim Holtz stuff. Guys, I thought I was done. I, I have more than eight bins full of Tim Holtz stuff. Do I need all that? No, I don't. But I love Tim. But I have to part ways. I really do because it's too much. And yikes. Even though like, I mean, I could, I could just devote one day to creating with Tim Holtz stuff. Because I love his stuff. I really do. But I do. Do I need two and three of the same thing? So I'm thinking I'm just going to keep one or two of whatever it is and the rest has got to go so that's my next my next project okay so from tonics they had this nouveau glitter markers i love nouveau products how pretty is that right i don't know what was the price for this And they sent me two items free, two Nouveau Crystal Drops. 
So I got the the tier, the, the Dante Dragonfly tier box was nineteen ninety eight. And the crystal drops, those glitter markers, the three of them were $3.49. I picked up another one, Pure Sheen Glitter. Oh, that's not it. I, what was it? What did the other one cost me? Hmm. Oh, $1.49. So, and that's this one, the graphite color right here. So I wonder what does that look like? I love, love, I really do enjoy using Nouveau products. So this one they sent me free, Moroccan Red, I think. No, autumn, this is Autumn Red. Nope, I, I paid for this one. And these were, um, some of them were 99 cents and others were $1.49. Like the Cocoa Blush, which is, which one is it? Ooh, somebody's calling out really loud. Cocoa Blush, is it this one? No, oh, this Moroccan red. This is one of the ones I got free. Anyway, so, and this is Autumn Red. 99 cents. This was another one. Crystal Drops. Is this Pink Orchid? No. Yeah, Pink Orchid. Another one I got free. So it's really nice. Here's this one, Bright Gold. Then I got these... Um, glitter I thought these were really pretty this is called desert sunset I don't know let's see here desert sunset $1.39 for this nouveau thingy which is pretty good I got a strawberry sorbet strawberry sorbet was also $1.40 actually no $1.57 but they're still pretty good prices they're still in the dollar mode this one is called Cocoa blush, a cocoa blush. Dries translucent. Mm, that's probably why. See that? I was going to just drop them in somewhere so I can share with you what they look like, but here's another one. Crushed grape. And then I got these. These are so cute. Red carpet circles. So they're like confetti kind of thingy. And then this one, Victorian rose hexagons. So it's hexagon shape. So that was what I picked up um, from whatever that place is called. Ay, 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 what is this called? What's wrong with me? Nuvo, to tonic, tonic, there it goes. Oh, I thought I'm not representing them because they, they're to fire me already. I'm like, who are they? <laughs> so that was what I picked up. My Tim Holtz pencil, um, Violetta ink. I got some. I look. Look at how cute that envelope is. She sent. How pretty! It feels so good too. Velvety kind of. Mm. See that? Violetta ink. So pretty. So, yeah, that was it, guys. My Copic sketch that I got, I bought Lila, I bought Azalea, Rose, Quartz, Pale Heat, Baby Blossoms, Raspberry, Hollyhock, Pink, and the Swash Cards, and the Colorless Blender, and the Refills. And I actually was able to pull out two markers, which... I know I barely use these, so I'm wondering if they just happen to dry up. And these are my C10 Cool Gray and my C5 Cool Gray. So I'm going to actually insert a bit of um, the liquid that I have that you can use for your alcohol markers. I forgot the name. To see if I can get the color. If not, I'm going to order the refills. Yep. So that is it, guys. That is it for now, I hope, I think. Probably come back and remember, oh, I forgot to show you this. Yep. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll have a wonderful rest of the week, and stay safe. Bye for now.